thoughts, a particular type of thoughts, drop away and don't. And what is there instead? What's actually the experience? Is it just empty? No, it's not completely empty. Mm. It's still, but it's calm. Calm is good. Stillness is essential. It is your, the stillness is your classroom. If you're not still, you're not in a, you're not in a place to learn. And so your practice will make you still. These, the pacing, sitting, kin, hin, basic exercises, one of their first functions is that you are still and that there is a silence, that there's a space, or at least that it's quieter, quietude. It's the place you learn. There can be change in that place. So that in a place of stillness, as you rest in it, there is sensation. But the sensations are still. They are the sensations that have no They're not going anywhere. They rise and fall. The sensation rises, is seen as sensation, and falls away. In stillness, the truth of sensation can be seen. That it's, all sensation is transitory. It is fleeting and it isn't connected to a central idea of self. Even the sensations of you are just sensations. They're not connected to a self or something lasting, something that has a purpose. They're merely sensations as the sound of the birds in the trees can be experienced for its own quality without being connected to the idea of the bird or what the bird's purpose is or where the bird's going. And each sensation is just as this. It is, has no purpose. It isn't connected to anything. And it's not looking to go somewhere. And this you must experience. And for that experience to take place, there must be calmness, stillness, ease, that you slip into exercises like a warm bath. You slide into meditation with ease, without effort or concern. Certainly not with any intention of forcing or trying to improve your meditation, trying to get somewhere other than where you are finding the experience of this moment now. crazy mind with a bit of energy and making something of it. So all these all these sensations that relate to self, to relate to what's happening to me or where I am, to just recognize the sensation that it isn't connected to a picture. You may find the experience of, um, I don't know, a, pain or a thickness or a warmth or a sense of textures 
or movement of weight, the simple act of movement of weight, that it happens, that that sensation is experienced, the sensation arises in space and is, is experienced. That's all. Pull back from making a story or mapping or owning or looking for and certainly put, begin to realize how much of the time you possess sensation or you imbue sensation with purpose. So you'll walk along the deck and because it's you walking the feeling in the feet will be felt but there's a filter across it because it's the filter of I am walking to my room and all the experiences to do with where you're going, uh, the idea of where you're going is filtering the actual experience of the moment and that's happening all the time. Every time you change gear and go back into automatic, it encourages this uh, filtering and de de damping down of the experience of the present moment so that it's back into a map, a story, a direction, a purpose. But when there's stillness, experiences rise purely as experiences. So you may be, you move your foot on the grass and there's the experience of warmth. And at that moment there is just warmth. Or you may feel the weight of your body resting on a step and as the body is moving up the step there's the experience of weight. And at that moment there's just weight. Weight arises in consciousness and then falls away again. And if mind is still like the sound of a bird in an empty sky, it's brilliant and bright and magical. So the experience of weight, or the experience of the sensation of the body walking during a period of time that identity would own as I'm going to my room, you may have these experiences. And it's in these experiences that you will find your true nature. Not your true nature. True nature. And you will see these connections between these experiences that identity mind, the idea, is frightened of and threatened by. Because it suggests the dissolution of identity. But what in fact it's doing is where, where the delusion is known and there is no fear for identity's sake, but there's the experience that all sensation, all perception, all experiences that are occurring in this present moment now are completely whole. There was never a separateness. There never has been and there never will be. But this is something that's theory that is understood by identity and it's not the experience of it. The experience of it is in the present moment, in the stillness, in the ease. And you must go to that place to find it. So I encourage you to let your practice now begin to feel easy, restful, still, without effort, without struggle. And where there's struggle, stop. Relax, ease, settle. Find a place in you that feels comfortable in that rest and ready to engage again in the stillness. Well, this is your practice. If you find that certain exercises they have no there's no root into that stillness for you, then don't practice them. Do something else. Something new. Something that isn't filled with the idea me or the idea for. Yeah?